Did you know that you can set up custom keyboard shortcuts in Tana to make your workflows lightning fast? Let me show you how. Hey, I'm Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to level up your life and work using Tools for Thought. Let me tell you a little story of a time when I shared an office with one of my coworkers. On my first day, I was happily installed in the office, typing madly away, getting my work done. And at one point, my coworker was talking to her assistant and they both stopped mid-sentence and just turned and stared at me. And I was like, oh wait, is something wrong? What am I doing? And they're like, how do you type so fast? I hadn't even given it a second thought. I've been touch typing since year eight computer science class where I would sit on Mavis Beacon all day and try and beat my typing speed. In short, how do I know how to type so fast? I practiced. Now, why am I telling you this odd story and what does it have to do with keyboard shortcuts? Well, in short, most people don't use keyboard shortcuts because either they don't know they exist or they just can't remember them. So in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to set up your custom keyboard shortcuts in Tana. Most people have no idea this exists. Then I wanna show you how to combine a few keyboard shortcuts together so that you can plan your week in minutes. And finally, I wanna show you my hack for learning the keyboard shortcuts and remembering the keyboard shortcuts that I actually set up. So let's dive in. Okay, let's talk about how to set up your custom keyboard shortcut. Now, one of the most tedious things that you will find in Tana when you start to kind of work a lot with fields is that you end up opening a lot of fields and changing a lot of statuses and that can get really, really tedious. So one way to easily kind of set up a shortcut is a shortcut that changes the field from one thing to the next. So here is exactly how to do that. Now, this is my Spark Ideas, which is that, like all the ideas that I wanna publish about YouTube. Every week I choose a few uh, to move from Parked, which is kind of like where I just park ideas, into up next, which is where I want to work on them. So I could easily do a couple of different things here. I could view this um, as I sometimes do as a table and then have the field here and easily kind of move things in. I could also group it as cards and then group by status and move things around. But what I find is the easiest way when you're working with a list is actually just to set up a custom keyboard shortcut, which is so easy to then go through the list put your cursor anywhere in a node and apply that shortcut. So let's have a look exactly how to do that. When you're in a node and you wanna set up a custom keyboard shortcut, just click anywhere in the node and go to your normal command K menu, okay? You wanna find the command that you're looking for. So what I'm looking for is I wanna set a field. From here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is press Shift Command K, or if you are not on an Apple, you wanna press Shift Control K. And that brings up the recording for this uh, keyboard shortcut. And so all you wanna do is you want to set this status. Um, so this is specifically going to record a keyboard status to set the content to up next, okay? So what I will do is I'm gonna set it to option, shift and right arrow, okay? And I just type those on the keyboard and then I press save. Now you can click out of that. And if I wanna move this now into up next, all I need to do is apply that keyboard shortcut. So again, option command, right? And so that automatically change it from parked to up next. I may not want to always move things to up next. So I might set a different shortcut so that I can bring the list up, okay? So if we wanted to do that, we're gonna go the same thing, okay? Open your command K. Um, and then find the field that you wanna change. So we want to change the content status. So what we did before is we went set content status and we entered that, and then we went to up next and we set that, okay? But what instead we wanna do is stay here on the, the command that says set, set content status, and we're gonna do the same, shift command K or shift control K. And then we're going to record a different shortcut so that that's going to bring up the list and we can choose from it. So uh, let's call this uh, option shift and up. Okay, save. Now what we can do is when we press the, that second command, we actually get the list of content statuses and we can go in and we can move it. So I could move it back to parked. I could move uh, this next one 
to shift. I could move another one uh, wherever I am. And I can literally just go ahead and quickly go through and set statuses for each of these. So you can set your custom keyboard shortcuts at any level, either to assign a certain option or to bring up a list of options without having to open the node. How good is that? So let's bring this together into a usable workflow. Uh, and let me show you how I plan my week using three custom keyboard shortcuts. So there's three phases that I use to plan all the tasks that I need to do for the week. Firstly, I have a look at all the tasks that I have available to me and I move them into a status called up next. Then I look at all of those up next tasks and I assign one to every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And finally, I assign a cycle, which is an estimate of how long that task is going to take. Once I've done that, my week is planned. But if I have to open every node and configure every one of those fields, it takes a long time. So here's how I do it with three of my custom keyboard shortcuts. First things first, I have a big long list of tasks that are available to me. And I can easily click on any one of these, look at the task status and change it into up next. But that's tedious, so we are gonna set a custom keyboard shortcut. So again, how to set this up is uh, find the command that you want uh, to assign the shortcut to. So we're gonna go command K and I'm going to say task status I'm going to press enter and I'm going to have up next highlighted so that I'm assigning this task to it. Then we're going to say shift command K or shift control K if you're not on Windows. That's going to bring up the recording. And then I'm going to set this to option, command and the right arrow. Okay, then we're going to press save. So now all I have to do is if I want to move any of these tasks into the up next list, just press option, command, right. Option, command, right, option, command, right. And what you'll see is they end up down here in my up next list. Okay, really easy, as you can see, to just go through each one and say, yep, this is one I want to move into up next um, and to just keep going through the list. You can see how lightning fast that just happened compared to opening each one and changing the status or coming into command K and setting the status to something, okay? It makes this process so fast. So the next thing I do is I come over into my next tab, which is where I actually plan my week. Now, all of those available tasks end up here in the This Week tab, and they are ready to now have a due date assigned. So I don't use dates in my uh, Tana setup. I actually just have a field that says due date with a drop down that has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Now, because this view is a board view, I could easily just say, yes, I want to do this on Tuesday. I want to do this on Wednesday, but I like to assign a keyboard shortcut to actually make this so much easier. So what I do is I just come in here again and I want to find the command that I'm looking for. So command K and I want to set the due day. And what I want it is I don't want to actually have one for every single due day that's too many shortcuts for me so I'm going to leave it highlighted so that the list comes up when I press this shortcut so again we're going to go shift command k or shift control k and bring up our recording studio all right so I'm going to set the shortcut to shift command d and then press save so then I can easily come into this list and press that same shortcut shift command d brings up the due day and it moves over and then I can just do the rest. I'm gonna say this is a Thursday. This one is a Wednesday. And you can see how very quickly you can move things into all the different columns and set your week up so fast. Now, the very final thing that I do is I give each of my tasks an estimated time, which I call a cycle. So each of my tasks I assign either a 30 minute, a 60 minute or a 90 minute cycle. And that helps me to visually see how much I have planned on for each day. So I have a really simple field that is called cycle. 
in it, it's just an option field that has either one cycle, two cycle or three cycles. And so once I have assigned kind of all of the tasks to my day, then I want to be able to come in and just quickly kind of say, okay, this is going to take me 30 minutes. This one's going to take me 60. This one's going to take me 90. And I can kind of balance my week out. So to record this, we want to press shift command K and I'm going to set this to alt command one and save that. Then I'm going to do the same. So you can still stay in this screen and you can press shift command K again to record number two. And I'm going to call this command, uh, alt command two. Okay. And then we're going to go to number three and do the same. And we're going to call this alt command three and save. So now what we can do is come in here and assign a cycle. So let's say this is going to take me two hours. I can press two. You can see that comes up. That comes from my build title from fields. Uh, and I'll show that in a, in a different video. Um, this might take me three. So I do the same. This one might take me one. This one might take me two. And so now I can visually see how much I have on for the day. I can see I've got 90 minutes, 60, 30, another hour here. And so I start to then kind of have a look and balance my day and say, mm, you know what? I'm probably not, if I have too many threes, I'm probably not gonna be able to do all of those. Um, and so I might move that to another day, okay? And so that's how I quickly plan my week using custom keyboard shortcuts and it's a game changer. But as you can see, there's a lot of different custom keyboard shortcuts um, and sometimes it's hard to remember those. And that's one of the reasons that some of us just simply don't use shortcuts because we just don't remember them. So let's talk about how to actually remember these shortcuts and how to practice them and then how to get them kind of almost on autopilot so you don't even have to think about it. One of the easiest ways to find all the custom keyboards that you, that you set up is to come into your sidebar, go all the way up to your top node and come into settings. You will see all of your private keyboard shortcuts here. Okay, so you can see I have a lot set up. Now you can open each one of these up to see the command that this shortcut refers to. I find that again, very tedious. So what I have done is set up a super tag that has all of my custom keyboard shortcuts that I can reference any time I need. In my setup page, I have a live search that searches for any super tag with custom keyboard shortcut. And so whenever I create a keyboard shortcut, I uh, say what it does, what the shortcut is, and then I give it the super tag. This super tag is super basic. The only thing that it has is the shortcut category, which I can set to a certain kind of uh, function or group of functions. So I have things for tasks, I have things for projects, I have things for notes, I have things for day page, I have things for the system, okay? I find this does two things. One, when you write something down, you're much more likely to remember it. The second thing is you can save this in a place that you can reference it often. So if you're forgetting what the keyboard shortcut was, uh, you can, quickly go and have a look and that's how you start to practice and use these keyboard shortcuts. So there are two ways that I use this particular search so that I can start to practice and remember all of these keyboard shortcuts. The first one is to pin it to your sidebar. So uh, you can press command K and say pin node and then it comes up here in your pinned area and all you have to do to find it again from wherever you are is press custom keyboard shortcuts. Now, once you have it pinned in the sidebar, wherever you are working in Tana, you can easily click on it and you can find your custom keyboard shortcuts. But if you don't want to leave the screen that you're on and you just want to quickly know what that custom keyboard shortcut is, you can use the new dock feature um, that just came out a couple of weeks ago. And all you have to do is simply go command and click, and that will show up in your right side dock. And so that means you can click around wherever you need to go in Tana and your keyboard shortcuts are always there for you. Now, I hope you liked this video on how to set up custom keyboard shortcuts in Tana and that you set up some really powerful and fast workflows. Now, if you liked this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I make videos like this every week on how to level up your life and work using Tana. 
and other tools for thought. Now, if you really want to level up your Tana game, then go and follow my new account over on Twitter called Tana Academy. It's the one place where I am sharing all of my Tana tips, workflows, and how to basically level up uh, using Tana. So go and follow it, explore the website, explore all the resources that I have available. And I will see you in the next video.